Hey there guys, thank you so much for joining me, The Indie Gamer here, back with another video. In today's video, we're getting back into the groove of the monthly series of my top picks of new indie games, this time focusing on the releases of January and February of 2020. In this video, and as we move forward with this series, I thought I would try giving things a little freshen up with a small switch up to the format, providing some more insight into the top 5 indie game picks, alongside some other noteworthy honourable mentions too. So with a packed lineup of games to get into, and before we hit this month's top 5, let's waste no time and jump into this month's honourable mentions. Kicking things off strong with one of my favourite games of last year, Sayonara Wild Hearts was recently announced to be making its way onto Xbox in just a few days time. Stylish visuals, simple but clever gameplay and an incredible soundtrack, Sayonara Wild Hearts really is a must play music driven experience. Delicate, heartfelt and emotionally driven, Florence is an interactive story about the emotional highs and lows of a relationship. At just 30 minutes in length, there's no doubt it's a short experience, but Florence sets out to leave a lasting impression on you long after the credits roll. Florence is out now on iOS, Android, Switch and PC. Fast, instinctive and addictive, One Finger Death Punch 2 strips things back to basics and focuses on well-timed button presses, awesome frenetic gameplay and insane combos. If you're looking for a game that makes you feel like an absolute beast, look no further. Draugen is a first-person psychological narrative adventure set in 1920s Norway. Players Edward Charles Harden and unravel the sinister side of Norwegian folklore and the unexplained mystery of a lost and forgotten coastal community. Draugen is available now on Xbox One, PS4 and PC. Now let's jump into January and February's Top 5. From developer Lantern Studio, Luna the Shadow Dust is a fully hand animated point and click puzzle adventure inspired by classic adventure games of old. Embark on a dreamlike adventure to restore light and balance to an enchanted world. Gameplay here is thoughtfully brought to life without the need for a dialogue system and instead places an emphasis on its beautifully hand animated cinematics and intricate puzzles. Luna the Shadow Dust has a beautifully understated charm to it and its stunning art, enchanting music and intriguing story are all plenty enough to get my full and undivided attention. Luna the Shadow Dust is out now on PC and Mac. Coming from three-man indie team Turtle Blaze is Kunai. Kunai is a distinctive looking fast-paced 2D metroidvania set in a world where humankind have been wiped out by rogue AI. On a mission for vengeance you play as a sentient tablet come robot embodied with the ancient spirit of a legendary ninja. 
With an elaborate arsenal of deadly weapons and clever abilities at your disposal, Kunai looks like a complete blast and anything that blends Metroidvania game design with ninja gameplay elements is more than okay by me. Kunai is out now on Switch and PC. Bloodroots is a super slick, fast paced hack and slash action game where you play as Mr. Wolf, a man hell bent on a frenzied pursuit for revenge after being betrayed and left for dead. Action's as intense as it is relentless, and we'll need more than just balls of steel if we want to make it out alive as Bloodroots adopts the one hit kill mechanic to test our reactions and keep us all constantly on our toes. Bloodroots looks to be tapping into that addictive style gameplay very nicely indeed and I cannot wait to check it out come the 28th of this month. Bloodroots is coming to PS4, Switch and PC hopefully with an Xbox release too down the line. Having already released last year on PS4 and PC, Knights and Bikes gets a very welcome release on the Switch this month too. Knights and Bikes is a beautiful looking hand painted co-op adventure game set in the 1980s on the fictional British island of Penfersey. As newfound best friends Nessa and Demelza, you set off on a Goonies inspired coming of age adventure driven by an emotional story about friendship. If a quirky and fun carefree adventure sounds like you, Knights and Bikes could be just your game. Knights and Bikes is available now on PS4, Switch and PC. Blend beautifully executed nostalgia rich environments, a toy story like world where the toys have come to life and the first person wave based shooter and you have Hypercharge Unboxed. Team up with up to 3 friends in co-op on a mission to defend the all important Hypercores with your life. With its unique and inviting appeal Hypercharge could be just the ticket for Switch owners who are looking for a fresh FPS to get stuck into. Hypercharge Unboxed is out now on Switch and PC. Thank you so much for watching guys, I really do hope you enjoyed the video. As always if you saw anything that caught your eye from today's rundown be sure to let me know down in the comments below. If you did enjoy this it would be massively appreciated if you would hit that like button and please do feel free to share this out on social media and subscribe if you would like to see more future videos. Thanks again for watching guys and I will see you in the next one.